this Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. After the new update for Halloween, I'm gonna fix FPS drop and stuttering and also getting in the game super late how to fix packet loss after the new update. Make sure to watch this complete guide. Hopefully this will helpful for you all. Let's get started the video without wasting any time. So first of all guys open up your epic games and click on the three dots. Click on options and you guys must download these pre-download steam assets and turn off all the others uncheck all the boxes uh, except if you are using directx 12 shaders uh, because i'm using it and that's it click on apply and it will update now close it now we're gonna do some network settings right click on your internet and click on network and internet settings and click on advanced network settings select your internet and click on more adapter options click on edit button and you will see this window up here you guys have to scroll down and select this internet protocol version 4 click on properties and check this use the following dns server addresses and apply this dns server address click on apply those now we're gonna delete cache memory from our computer system right click on start button and click on run type temp 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 and control plus a delete all the files in it again open run now type percentage sign before and after the temp also delete all the files in it and skip the file that cannot be deleted you guys can see I have freed 4.5 gigabits of cache memory. You guys having more of that because I delete every one to two days. And at the end, make sure to empty your recycle bin completely. That's it. Now there is a link given in the description. This is the most important step. There must be some ads on my website. Make sure to close all the pop-ups ads. And the download link, main download link in the middle of the post and will re redirect you to google drive only if any other website opens just close it only download it from google drive right click on it and click on extract here open this bag and you will see these two applications which is from both are from microsoft one is directx properties and second one is directx web setup to update your track text version to the latest version if it requires an update so first of all we're gonna open up this track text properties click on edit list and you guys have to click on the three dots and you guys have to select epic games where you have installed epic games like this c program file x86 epic games go to launcher engine binaries win 64 and select epic games launcher type application click open click add ok and check these boxes and click on apply ok now open up directx installer and check for updates and check this box it will update your directx version to the latest version Now we're gonna open Epic Games commands. Open up Epic Games. Go to your profile. Click on settings. Scroll down until you see Fortnite. Expand Fortnite and click on additional command line arguments. Now paste the command in here. But you guys have to change something after these processors for you guys you guys have to check according to your system right click on your taskbar and click on task manager go to performance select cpu and you will see how many cores you have like i have eight cores so i'm gonna type eight instead of four 
and you guys have to type whatever processors you have now close epic games it's applied and the deck text is updated click on finish open up this and this is the optional if you want these are my in-game user settings uh, i have preset it for you guys by the way i'm this is for deck text 12 users if you are playing on performance mode or deck text 11 i do not recommend you to apply this but uh, deck text 12 users can apply these this is the best settings file you can find online uh, so you guys have to paste it uh, right click on start button and click on run type app data go to local find fortnite game saved config windows client and there you will see game user settings file what you're gonna have to do is you guys can make a backup of your file like copy this to your desktop screen and now you guys can paste in here replace the file in the destination and run the game if you don't feel like it's not for you you guys can restore this file to the original location and you will get your old settings back so i'm gonna run fortnite and show you some guys the in-game results hope this video helped you make sure to subscribe my channel and like the video see you in the next video bye guys